Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to concentrate on, I suppose, how to create a composite score okay, uh, for, a, for, for a particular scale. In this case, we have what's known as the Negative Acts Questionnaire Scale. Okay? The Negative Acts Questionnaire Scale uh, consists of well, this version of it, which is the reduced version, consists of 22 items or 22 questions where each question is trying to measure a certain negative behaviour or more importantly, I suppose, is trying to measure whether specific ne negative behaviours uh, have been, I suppose, inflicted on the individuals over a particular course of time. It's actually a reduced one, uh, it's our revised version. The original one uh, contained 48 items or 48 questions. Uh, this particular scale here, we're looking at a 22 item scale for the Negative Acts Questionnaire revised version. Okay? Each one is a specific question that's asked to respondents. Okay, 22 questions are asked. Uh, but more importantly, we're not interested in the responses to the individual items. Uh, what we would like to do is we would like to, I suppose, uh, understand what the average response is. Okay, or more importantly, uh, how position people are how how people are positioned uh, on this negative acts scale itself. Okay, so what we're going to do in this particular video is we're going to, I suppose, create a composite score variable uh, for for all of these NAQR items from item 1 to 22. And to do that within SPSS is straightforward. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go to transform, okay, uh, from the menu bar, we just choose trans transform. Uh, we'll say compute variable, okay, let me just actually reset this here, okay. Uh, I'll give this new variable a target name, so maybe I'll call it negative acts, let's say negative acts composite Composite score. Now we're doing we're taking a naive approach here. Okay? In this particular approach, we're assuming each particular item has the same contributory uh, weighting uh, to this particular overall score. In other words, everything everything has the same uh, the, the same contribution to make as as an item on the scale. And as such, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the average of all the items. Okay? So in this particular in this particular uh, example here, you could actually do many different types of transformations on these particular items. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the average. So my new variable, which is my negative acts composite score, uh, is going to be equal to the average. Now in SPSS, the average is known as the mean. So it's going to be equal to the mean. Okay, well the mean of what? I'm going to take my NAQR item one followed by uh, all the rest of my items. Now I've already copied them, so actually, oops, control Z on that here, yeah, oh, let me just actually get rid of these here. What are these values doing in here? I don't know what happened there. Let me just get rid of these out of here. I think what happened here was we copied the whole series of values in, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy uh, NAQ uh, or item one, NAQ or item two, uh, NAQ or item three, uh, so on and so forth. I'm going to take the next one, which is four. And now there's 22 of these, so this is going to take a little moment, okay? Uh, we're going to take the next one, which is six, the next one, which is which is seven, and so on and so forth. This actually doesn't seem to be a way of actually copying all these in, and we'll go within SPSS. Uh, so we have uh, item, item eight now is going to be copied across. So we have item eight. Uh, then we have item 9, uh, we have item 10, uh, we have item 11 is going to go in there, uh, we have item 12, goes in, we have item 14, it's going to be placed in there, we have item 14. Now it's important that each item as they're added, they're separated by a comma, okay? Uh, that will allow SPSS uh, to distinguish one item from another, okay? So they don't need spaces around them necessarily. Uh, so we're nearly there. We have item 18, which we're going to copy across. We have item 19, uh, item 20, uh, item 21, uh, item 22. Uh, so there's a 22 items are copied across here. And what we're actually doing is we're calculating the average of them or the mean of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit OK on that. Okay, so I hit OK. It's computed. It's executed there in SPSS. If I go back into my my data set. Okay, so we had 
22 items, okay? And we have all of our items here. Uh, if we scroll across, you can actually see what's actually after being created here is an overall score for each individual. So the negative acts composite score has been generated and each score for each individual, so for example, the first male here uh, has been given a score of 1.27 on the negative acts questionnaire. Okay? Now it's probably important to note that each value ranges from, oh, whoops, okay? that each value here ranges from uh, one up to five so the the smallest value you could score on this particular questionnaire is one the highest value you could score is five one meaning that you feel that there has never been a negative act perpetrated on you within your organization or wherever it might be five indicating that it was perpetrated daily so actually what we can see from the data set here is that the first respondent is 1.55 is really indicating that negative acts aren't really perpetrated I perpetrated on them within their organization okay guys uh, once again this was just a short video uh, to show you how to generate a composite variable which is composed of other variables or the outcomes from other variables within within IBM SPSS so guys this was Jonathan Lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the National College of Ireland uh, and I hope this video was somewhat helpful